Well, nature calls, and she keeps calling even in an emergency. If the city water system is out of commission, other ways must be found to safely deal with human waste. We'll find out about that today. Meet Kurt, a busy dad who's concerned about getting his family prepared for a disaster. And here's Jeff, a public safety official who's an expert on getting ready for the unexpected. Together they'll find ways to prepare that don't take a lot of time. Okay, so I suppose you're telling me that the water in the toilet tank is another source of fresh water in an emergency. If you're looking there, you haven't saved enough water. We need to consider in this scenario that we're not going to flush the toilet and we've got to come up with another alternative. I have all that fresh water in the water heater, right? You do, but we want to use that for making meals, personal hygiene, washing hands, brushing teeth. Okay, so you're saying what I would normally get rid of in a toilet does not count as personal hygiene? No, it's personal hygiene, but we have an alternative. Okay. We've got a list for you. Go we'll find those things. I'm on it. Thanks. Trash can liners. Did you find everything? I think I did, yes. Fantastic. Okay. I need you to hold this for me. We're going to talk about that in just okay. a minute. But for now, let's learn how to build a toilet. Good. Let's do it. Okay. First of all, we have our bucket. Okay. Okay. Pretty simple process. We need to line it now. All right. All you need is some trash bags. There we go. Simple enough, you've done this before, yes, right? Yes, I have. I do it quite often. So we line the bucket. Now we just need some kitty litter. All right. Okay. Pour a little bit in the bottom. Not too much, huh? All right. Now let me have that lid. Oh, yeah, the, the lid. That's right. You don't have to have a lid. Mm -hmm but it certainly makes it a little more comfortable, and a lot more functional. Yeah. Okay, so you just put the lid over top. You can't get these lids in your normal hardware store. Uh -huh. You might have to go to an emergency supply store to get them, yeah. but they're great to have on hand. Yeah. So the bottom line is when you need to use the bathroom, you open up the lid, you snap that down a little more. Pops right on there, nice. You okay. use the bathroom. When you're done, you pour a little more kitty litter in there. So to dispose, all you need to do is take it out of the bucket, tie up the ends, and put it out with your trash. Take 20 minutes to round up the supplies to put together a few waste kits for the house. Having emergency sanitation kits will keep you and your neighbors healthy. And don't forget the hand sanitizer. We'll see you next time. Visit kbyutv.org to get your free 20 to ready emergency preparedness guide.